When it comes to this channel, I use the motto, not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. Part of that is because clearly a lot of people don't want it because more people don't watch it. But the reality to me is, is I am one of those unbiased voices of sanity and reason, whether you want to acknowledge it, admit it, or not. I'm not trying to get in the wrestling business. Like, why would I want to go from dealing with the marks on the internet to an even more severe level of insecure marks actually being in professional wrestling? I have really no friends, so to speak, in professional wrestling, so you don't have to worry about where my allegiances really lie because I don't have any. And if you hit me with the, well, you're just a hater or a bias towards this product and you're this company sheep, then we can run empty dozen videos and how many ever tweets to totally and completely refute the point that you just made. But I feel like as much as anything else, I've had to kind of come to grips with the reality that is my reality, this channel's reality, is that it's not a popularity contest. It never has been. It's never going to be. I'm one of those ones that is needed to speak the truth, bring a little logic and reason into the conversation. Because too often people get too emotional when it comes to things like wrestling. Which brings me to this whole Wednesday night wrestling war between AEW and NXT. And the AEW sheep always looking to crap on NXT. The NXT bots always looking to crap on AEW. Like they're trying to fight back and forth and what exactly are they fighting for? It's not helpful. It's not productive. And I've got news for both sides. You're not winning, okay? This is not what winning looks like. Your side is not winning. They're only losing or not losing by as much. The Wednesday Night Wrestling War is not helping AEW. It is not helping NXT. One side is not winning. One side is not losing. Both sides are freaking losing, period. And this brings me to last week's viewership numbers on Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. It's a holiday. you got these AEW sheep talking about well, it's holiday time, and they skew younger, so these people are traveling to their families and so forth. You know, but if you're going to use that kind of dumb dick type of logic, you could sit there and say, well, then if they're younger, a lot of them probably have crappier jobs, which requires them to work the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. They might also have to work the Thanksgiving Day and or Black Friday. So why in the hell would they be traveling anywhere for Thanksgiving? And you're assuming that they have additional disposable income to actually be able to travel out of city or potentially out of state. Who are you kidding? And this whole notion of the narrative shifting depending on the week. A week where you beat NXT in the viewership numbers. It's about the viewership numbers. But in a week that you don't, it's about beating NXT in the demographics and in the key demographic viewership numbers specifically. Like, this is a great thing. This past week, Dynamite did just a little over 600,000 viewers. They've been on air for two months now. They're going up against the World Series. They're going up against basketball. It's like there's always a freaking excuse. What there is no excuse for is that in the course of two months, they have lost over 800,000 viewers compared to their debut episode on Wednesday, October 2nd. Over 50% of the audience from their initial offering. That's not good. There is no winning there. Only losing and hemorrhaging viewers for the most part by the week. And sure, you can sit there and say, it's right before the holidays, so there's going to be a natural decrease in some of the viewership numbers. I don't fundamentally disagree with that. That said, it doesn't change the fact of the disturbing trend that you've already seen. And for those that are sitting there and saying, well, the network TNT doesn't really mind. They're happy with what they're getting. You really think so? You really think they're going to be happy with offering up two hours of primetime television on a Wednesday night 
to a wrestling program, getting them a little over 600,000 viewers that has already lost over 50% of its viewership in a two-month span because they're winning in the key demo. Never mind the fact that since it's wrestling that we're talking about here, it doesn't generate nearly the revenue for the networks from an advertising perspective as other shows that you would put into that slot that maybe didn't perform as well overall in that 18 to 49 demographic because it's not wrestling. Wrestling doesn't make the same money as these other forms of entertainment, these other TV shows, these other entertainment genres, and so forth. You really think TNT is going to be happy with what they're seeing right now? Hell no. Nor should they be. So stop spinning it like they're great every week because they're not, because the viewership numbers indicate that they're not. And if you're selfishly sitting there saying, oh, I like the stuff, well, that's good for you. But in no way, shape, or form, if you're the type that sits there and doesn't care about characters, doesn't care about storytelling, lives with the flips and God bless and freaking kicks, and that is it, then by catering only to you, eventually that television show is going to die R.I.P. quicker than you might imagine. I know that is earth-shattering news for both sides of the argument here because hashtag moves matter and hashtag matches matter. And the reality is, no, they don't. If you don't have the characters, if you don't have the goddamn storytelling, if you don't generate enough interest to create emotional investment and potentially a suspension of disbelief or an element of belief, then none of the other crap that you do in the matches is going to matter. No matter how many flips and melts or drivers you see from these freaking marks in these wrestling companies. We're sitting there talking about winning a freaking demo. A key demo. With just over 600,000 viewers. What two months ago you had 1.4 million? Are you kidding me? That's the best you got to go up against NXT. Oh, we had then NXT. The company for a month plus, through all of their big name people from the other shows, from the Raws and the Smackdowns on NXT, and you might say, well, uh, big names. Oh, I agree. There are no megastars anymore, and that's a major problem. But the fact is they're bringing over people from shows from Monday night and Friday night that get two and a half to three times the viewership on a weekly basis that NXT does. Also, that way they can pop up NXT to a little over 800,000 viewers. They literally sacrificed and sent up the river one of their big four pay-per-views in Survivor Series, utilized Raw and SmackDown to prop up NXT, and they can't even break a million! Because, again, so many of these guys look the same, they work the same, they act the same, they talk the same. None of these guys grab your attention in NXT for the most part and say, my God, that's somebody I absolutely got to watch. And the only people that think that with anything involving the NXT crew are the same types I would watch anyway because of the freaking match and spot marks. And those are not the people that you want to appeal to if you're going to have a long-term viable mainstream wrestling program two hours on prime time on USA Network every Wednesday night. I think about how bad on a consistent week-in, week-out basis Raw and SmackDown's television products are. And yet, and yet, and yet, Raw is doing 2.1, 2.2 million viewers. SmackDown on Fox, yeah, it's over the air. TV, so it's got a larger audience potential. 2.3, 2.5, 2.6 million viewers. NXT is supposed to have the better wrestling, yet they're barely doing the third of the viewership at SmackDown. Having to just sacrifice both shows for a month plus to freaking prop up NXT. And you're going to sit there and trash talk? AEW because AEW lost in the viewer numbers? The hell is wrong with you? You're not winning anything either. This is one of my major fears when these two shows are going up head to head on Wednesday nights. It was going to expose the fact that this hardcore style of wrestling does not have nearly the appeal that a lot of hardcore fans want to pretend to believe that it does. Okay, look at this in past week's viewership numbers. A little over 1.4 million viewers combined. 
Raw is terrible, does 2.1 million. SmackDown stinks too. Last week, holiday week, mind you, Black Friday, 2.3 million viewers. And those shows absolutely suck. So you got about a million people that watch SmackDown, or even if we want to stick on cable, you got 700, 800,000 people each week that watch that crappy raw product on USA Network that come two nights later, Wednesday night, have two options for wrestling. One from WWE is their third tier option. The other one is an entirely different branded company, and they're not watching either one of them. So while you look at the overall viewership for Raw and SmackDown, you say that's mostly just hardcore fans at this point. There ain't no mainstream fans left. That's pretty much true. NXT and AEW suck so bad, they can't even hold on to the hardcore viewers. And you got AEW fans talking trash about NXT, losing in the day in 18 to 49 demo. You got NXT fans saying they're trashing AEW 600,000 viewers, when all the while they leverage shows with two and a half to three times the audience and they can't even get up to a million. Nobody is winning this Wednesday Night Wrestling War. If you tweet and you say, well, AEW won this week. <clears throat> if you tweet and say, NXT won this week. Guess what? <clears throat> Somebody needs to come to their senses. I don't care if that feels like it's admitting defeat. It needs to run their show on a different night. If AEW goes to Tuesday night, or NXT went to Tuesday night, and even if you say, well, they ran in HUD. But then they sit there and one or both of those shows got a little over a million viewers. Then you're talking about two shows from WWE that get two million viewers plus, at least for the time being. You got two other shows that have a million plus viewers individually. You say, well, that's not perfect. That's not great. But you got four somewhat viable wrestling television programs. Whereas right now, You've got two on the bookends on Monday and Friday night that are vastly superior in terms of audience size to these two that are stubbornly banging it out on Wednesday night. Vince is scared of AEW. He's so scared that he leveraged a startup brand that hadn't even put on a fucking TV show yet to get about an extra $100 million for USA Network for a show he was already running on his network. He just added an extra hour and threw it on regular live TV each week. He didn't even move venues or anything. He ain't scared of them. That's called leverage, you idiots. That's leverage. If NXT ultimately failed running up against AEW, what's he going to do? He's going to keep the money he pocketed from the USA Network and put NXT right back on the game network, where it can continue to be the indie hardcore fan circle jerk fest it's been for years. All of you praising His Holiness Triple H. Tonga. I can't wait till he's in charge. Really? He's in charge of this brand now, and they can't even get to a million viewers. One million. NXT. Can't even get to a million. Literally leveraging both Raw and SmackDown for a month plus to try and build up that brand. Throwing Survivor Series completely away at the expense of NXT. And this is what you got. Holiday weekend's my ass. And then AEW. Two months ago, you were at 1.4 million viewers. Now you're at a little over 600,000. What's the excuse going to be in three months if you're at 350,000? Well, we only lost that key demo by one one hundredth of a ratings point to an X2. So when you look at the overall viewership and you compare the performance in the demo, it's actually like they're winning. Well, no, it's not. Stop acting like AEW is winning. Stop acting like NXT winning. Because they're not. They're not winning. They're losing. And you're losers if you suggest anything otherwise. 